Hello, this time we are investigating Boolean operations and multi bodies in Katya part. Uh, here we have uh, just the start of the Katya part, just uh, nothing special. And with the tools customize, I change my origin, uh, toolbars to the restore all contents and restore positions. So I have default environment easier for you to follow. First, let's uh, sketch some uh, rectangular piece to the XY plane. And we're going to extrude this to be our starting block. Any dimensions are good. Okay, and we just extrude this to the default 20 millimeter. Okay. Now, we got this one, and I'll put those little small, and I will insert new body. Insert body. And it's automatically activated, and you notice the small plus sign in there. This is to so polarity. Polarity is a positive if it's something adding in and negative if it's pocket or groove or something what takes the material off from the pathway. Okay, but now we have a ultimately here positive and let's then do something. Let's uh, create a pad and we do the other pad and we do that by sketching Y set plane and I draw again some red angular there and I exit the sketcher and I create the path. Now 20 millimeter and I say OK. Now I change the color of this one, uh, right mouse button properties and I change the color to uh, say blue. Now we have arsenal part body gray and then this additional uh, blue. Now, let's investigate pool and operations in this stage. We go now and assemble. If I now assemble this one to this one, it will assemble these two pieces together. And let's select this one first there, and it automatically selects the part body. And if I preview this one, it assembles them together and removes the uh, not needed material from between them. So this would be like a machine from the one piece. Okay, I cancel this one. And now, if I now to add one more body for this one, insert body, and to add the, let's do the sketch first, as set explain and sketch, and I then create a uh, let's do rectangular still. That. And exit. And this time I will do the pocket. Okay. Now we have a pocket and I say okay. As you see, it hasn't done the pocket yet, but you notice there is a negative polarity for this part. Now, at first I change the color for it, properties. And color to red, and I say OK. Now, if you now go and assemble this, insert, pull an operation, and assemble. I select body 6 to the part body, and I preview. Because it's negative, it takes it straight away off from this uh, main part body. If I now assemble, uh, I say OK, and uh, assemble body 5, insert, assemble, this welds this together, or creates in that way. That's how assemble works uh, with the different polarity parts. And now you can see the assembles in there, and polarities of the parts. Uh, let's check what other pool and operations we do have. Uh, I just control uh, Z using control Z. I undo my previous actions with the uh, pool and uh, assemble, and I also created a few pipes to intersect each other. Now, uh, pool and add operation add is a similar as uh, assemble, except it doesn't care about polarity, so no care, care enough that if it's uh, negative or positive. So, if I select the second body, part body, and preview, 
you see results are similar and cancel that one I call insert pool and operations remove now if I remove this part body 5 from the part body preview it will create me whole ok I cancel that one again then I go pool and operation intersect this would uh, give me intersection between two bodies I have a blue one again uh, part body and a preview and this gives me the intersecting piece what is left between them cancel this one and in pull and operations uh, union trim now union trim is good to create for example the sort of the intersection with the pipes I select this one and this one and you could also select faces to be removed and face to key the preview and you see how it creates this intersection so this is about uh, pool and operations please do experiment in them thank you very much